Bee colonies are dying worldwide in huge numbers, a cause for major concern also for beekeepers whose existence is under severe threat. Begin is a new home for bees invented by design student Ivan Brown. He combined the structure of beehives with a man-made construction material, concrete. This is using lightweight concrete, this, this version, um, and the focus would be also for um, insulation because the bees use a lot of energy keeping the hive at a perfect temperature and that energy comes from honey consumption. So if you're trying to produce honey and the bees are, are struggling to regulate the temperature, they're consuming a lot of honey and your honey production goes down. So lightweight concrete is an extremely good insulator. His swarm box is the product of three years of research and brought together the knowledge of traditional beekeepers with a South African concrete producer. There is no need for toxic paints to protect the box against harsh weather conditions, unlike with wooden beehives. Some of the biggest problems with wooden hives is that they don't last long enough, especially in our environment with fires and honey badgers and, and thieves and um, vandals. And so we're trying to increase the durability by using a more durable, um, long-term material. But also at the same time, we've managed to decrease the price of the hive itself and um, increase the ease of manufacturability. Mike Shapland has been a beekeeper for most of his life and is concerned that the little pollinators might soon disappear from our world. For the last two years, he has been taking part in Evans' research test to see if the bees adapt to the new boxes and has already seen big developments. They've certainly taken to it and they're working less hard. They're not working as hard. Uh, that makes a big difference because it means that the, a lot more of the bees can go out and forage rather than keep the hive cool. To date, I've never seen the, the, the um, bees actually bearding, which is a, a term where it gets so hot in the evening that all the worker bees move outside the hive to cool themselves down and allow them, the, the hive inside to cool. So far, Ivan's um, swarm box, they haven't had to do that. That enables the bees to focus their energy on honey production. Even and his research team have compared the output of a wooden beehive with a concrete variety and found that production went up by 300%. The student regularly reaches down to small-scale farmers. They are being provided with concrete swarm boxes as part of an urban organic farming initiative. The idea is for the farmers to eventually make their own new beehive systems. Although for now, they are expensive. I think the, the most complicated part in the designing of the, the system was achieving a balance between cost and durability and, we're, and starting out by working with low-income groups or low-income farmers, small-scale farmers, really puts a limit on you know, how, how wild you can go with the, the technology, but that also is a good place to start from because if you make it affordable for the, the novices and the entry level guys, then you're helping them in the long run. Once the Begin Beehive is ready for mass production, Ivan sees himself equipping local farmers with the moles, a precious tools that will help them become more independent. So ideally what I want to see is a farm like this one um, with Earl and Pile where they can produce their own uh, beehives, but also maybe have the equipment, the suits, and then start to teach others in the community how to, how to do it and, and get hives to their farms and then become a source for the knowledge for other people in the community. Ivan Brown is currently designing a new version of his concrete box. It's currently still a research project, but the team from the University of Johannesburg hope to launch it a few years from now across Africa.